What's up you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review and boy do we got a big one for today. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Mondo first variant Space Godzilla. This is the variant that is movie accurate, uh, you know, kind of suit accurate. It's, to, it's pretty much true to the film. Mondo does variants of their kaiju figures. They also have a Trendmasters variant of this figure that looks like the old Trendmaster uh, type colors of Space Godzilla. They also did a glow in the dark cherry blossom Space Godzilla. And I'm not sure what the other colorway or colorways, if they're gonna be releasing one or two more of these Space Godzillas are gonna be. But I just have the normal color variant and that is what we are gonna cover today. Taking a look at this awesome, amazing box, you guys. This box is fantastic, it's outstanding, it's big, it's, it's just fantastic. A very nice art illustration of Space Godzilla here on the front, Mondo logo up here, Godzilla stamp up here, Space Godzilla and the Japanese kanji down below, Along the top, you have Space Godzilla again in Japanese and English, soft vinyl figure, and as well as explaining that in other languages. Onto the side of the box here. It's actually a big box to work in with this space, but I'm making it work. You have the Toho logo, Mondo logo again, more, you know, cosmic space type stuff. On the other side, the Space Godzilla illustration continues with his tail. And then on the back side, just more space, cosmic, you know, asteroid type stuff. Mondo stamp down here, Toho stamp down here again. Space Godzilla and the Japanese kanji again. And then you have the bottom of the box, which tells you the design, sculpt, and paint by Hector Arce. Packaging and illustration by Francesco Fran. Friend Calavia, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Packaging design, Gabe Ciccone, and then you can buy these figures direct at Mondoshop.com. But if you are planning on getting anything from Mondo in the future, whether that be figures, posters, etc., you better be quick because figures and everything still sell out like that. On Mondo they need to bump the numbers up they said that they were gonna do that and they still have yet to prove that fact correctly that is very disappointing that the figures and everything else that they're still coming out with are in such low quantities as they are that is what makes it a race makes it hard to acquire these figures because I'm still uh, pretty apparent that there's problems with uh, bots and scalpers buying these things and then you see them on eBay or other websites for double if not triple the price and that is wrong so Mondo bump the numbers up bump these numbers up you're still making these things ultra limited and you said you weren't gonna do that let's change this now come on Rest of their legal jargon down here on the bottom. Collector's model. This is not a toy. <laughs> but um, yes, very cool box. I think I'm actually going to cut this box up in a way and sprawl out these side panels and then have like one nice long illustration and I might stick it somewhere on my walls in my collection room somewhere where I'm gonna have room. I'm not sure where, but I'm sure I'll find a spot somewhere. So anyway, that just about does it for this box. Let's get it out of the way. And what did we all come here for? We all came here for Space Godzilla. Yes, here is Space Godzilla in all his glory. What a beautiful, wonderful, fantastic figure again thumbs up mondo awesome awesome job i mean this figure is fantastic no shipping problems so that's good uh just overall great space godzilla figure here originally 
I loved this sculpt so much, and I still do, that I actually wanted to collect each color variant of it. But Mondo bumped up their shipping prices, so then that made me kind of opt out, and it actually, it actually almost made me rethink buying this guy. Uh, that is how much shipping was for him. And with how much shipping was, I had my fingers crossed that Mondo was going to deliver a good job because Mondo has had issues with me in the past with either sending me the wrong items or shipping an item very poorly. So the fact that their shipping numbers went up, I expected this thing to be flawless, shipped flawless, not banged up, no box damage, all that good stuff, and that is what I got. But still, the shipping price was still enough that it kind of shied me away from the other variants. So I just decided to be one and done with Space Godzilla. And I am happy with this variant, for sure. So, without further ado, how about we dive right on into this guy with paint job, you guys. Paint applications on this guy are outstanding. Very kind of, uh, not really metallic, but as you can see, he kind of just has a gleam to him. He kind of shines a little bit. And of course, Space Godzilla, cosmic, starry, you kind of think that way. So his base for his body, you have a very nice dark, shiny blue all the way around. Really brings out the uh, scale and details in his skin. It just looks phenomenal. As far as the rest of his paint apps, you have a very nice dark kind of maroon red here for his neck and his chest and abdomen area. Looks very, very nice. His claws on his hands and his feet, you have a very nice white with ever so such a shade of purple. I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up on, on camera, if at all. My camera does not wanna focus one bit. But there is ever so such a small shade of purple, kinda like up here on the spikes, but not as prominent. The spike, his crystal, his shoulder crystals here, again, very nice pearly white. And then you just have this very nice purple that shades in. There's actually a little bit of paint splotch on mine. His head was hiding it there. You can kind of see it right in there. So my figure is not flawless. There is a little bit of paint splotching in there from that blue, but I'm, I'm gonna let it pass. It's not really that noticeable just because of the location it's at. It kind of blends in with that piece of skin that's coming up there. Teeth, very nice white teeth. Let me uh, change my camera settings here. This will be better. Here we go. His little mandibles here. Again, pearly white. And then you have kind of like an orange overlay kind of fade into them. Inside of his mouth, between the teeth, is kind of that same type of dark maroon red as here on the neck and the chest. His eyes are a very nice gold with black pupils. Looks very, very nice. His horn crest on his head, very nice pearly white here at the top. And then as you move down, very nice orange fade. Looks beautiful. So you can kind of see the purple just the way my camera was zoomed out there for the box uh, segment of this video. You can kind of see a little bit of the purple shading. You can definitely see it on the toes. That purple fade there looks fantastic all the way around. Moving to his back here, beautiful, beautiful pearly crystal white for all his crystal dorsal plates and his tip of his tail here. And then again, you still have that fade of purple shading that just looks awesome. Again, it looks very cosmic. And you know me, one of my favorite colors is purple. So this, I absolutely love. I think this just looks 
fantastic. Even these dorsal plates up here on the back of his neck leading up to the top of his head, beautifully, beautifully well done. As far as detail on this figure goes, again, you can see it. The paint, the colors, the paint separation of the different crystals to skin and everything like that, it just looks great. All the scale detail in his thighs and his arms, his neck and sides of his chest here, his fingers. Again, all this detail here on his neck going down to the chest and then the abdomen area fantastic looking got those knees claws on his toes very very nicely done i love the way that all of this looks around the shoulder crystals it looks fantastic just all that skin and these crystals protruding out mandibles again very very nicely sculpted in there look really really nice teeth nicely sculpted into the mold the nose his eyes eyebrows horn crest crown just look fantastic shoulder crystals nice edges triangles on all sides of them all the way around his back dorsal plates boy oh boy i love the way that these came out these were sculpted and created beautifully again just all the edges are hit just right with all those triangle edges and everything just look fantastic again all the spines on the back of the neck leading up to the head going all the way down the tail here to where it gets into a it's really kind of hard to show the tail just because the way it's posed but then it turns into that double row and then you have this very nice explosion of crystals here for the tip it just looks outstanding as far as detail goes on the bottom of course you have a toho stamp and then on the other foot you actually have an indentation of the mondo logo so very very nice detail and paint applications on this guy moving on next to articulation his arms can sway out and sway inwards. His legs can each kick forward. And then down to the sides. You don't really want to push them back any further than they're allowed to go. Otherwise, you're going to mess up paint. The tail, you can rotate side to the other side. And then that does it. He does have a seam here at the head so the head does look to be a separate piece but it is glued this does not move but that's fine it's a sophobi figure they're not supposed to have a buttload of articulation this falls in the same line as like marmot bull mark you know stuff like that and it just looks great next on Let's widen out that camera shot again. And how about we go on into scaling? Let's see, let's have Space Godzilla towards this side. And the first thing I will scale him with, because this is one thing a lot of people were curious of, and I know Rich from Wisconsin uh, commented on my post of this guy. Uh, he looks like to be in the same scale as X+. Plus. And that's when I told him, not really. He's more of like an M1 Marmot, uh, you know, large-scale Bullmark type figure. But we will do size comparisons with several different figure lines. Here he is with your normal Bandai 6-inch Godzilla. So here's how he will size up next to a Bandai, just to give you guys that idea. Let's center these a little bit more. There we go. So there he is with a Bandai. Next, kind of like what I said, he falls in line with Marmots. Here he is with a Marmot Godzilla 1984.
pretty much bam right on scale with that figure. They are basically almost, if it wasn't for the horn and the shoulder crystals, they'd basically be about the same height. So there he is with a Marmont 84. Just to give it some love, pulls a little bit of dust off of it because it is just a tad dusty, not too bad. Here is the Seismic Toys Jiris. Very, very good colorful comparison there. More or less evened out with the horn and the shoulder crystals with Jiris's uh, frill. So really, really fantastic there. How about we bring in another Space Godzilla? Here's your older brother, Mondo. Here is the large scale Trend Masters Space Godzilla. And again, Mondo it did do this figure in this type of paint scheme and it does look very nice uh, my local friend Christopher uh, if you guys remember he's the one I got the gigantic uh, X plus Mecha Godzilla 74 from he actually got the trend masters variant so uh, one of these days uh, we'll probably get together and maybe do like a comparison shoot between the two that way you can see uh, the colors of this on this Space Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. So there's that comparison there. Moving on to a little bit of X Plus for Rich from Wisconsin. Here is the X Plus 25 centimeter. So here's a 25 centimeter figure. The Godzilla 73. Pretty much same height, so Rich was actually right that way. He's about the height of a 25 centimeter. And this is a true 25 centimeter. I tried to pick some X Plus figures that are true to their size. So I have a 25 centimeter and I have a true 30 centimeter that's going to be up next. Um, no gigantic comparison because obvious. Um, but so you get this drift. Here he is scaled with a 25 centimeter X plus. Looks good. Looks very, very good. And now the last size comparison, we have a true 30 centimeter Titanosaurus. So here he is scaled with a 30 centimeter. Just so you guys have that idea. Overall, very, very cool. And with that, as you all know, just about wraps it up. So you guys, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Try to get a nice shot here for like a thumbnail maybe. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. There we go. How's that? All right. So without further ado, you guys, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to atomic blast that notification bell while you are at it. Don't forget to like and follow Godzilla Fan Freaks over on Facebook. And don't forget to follow Godzilla Fan Freaks over on Instagram. That way you stay up to date with everything going on and all the fun stuff that comes out of Godzilla Fan Freaks headquarters. You know, updates on Tucson Kaiju Festival stuff. Um, you know, Kaiju Chill O'Clock is still on hiatus. Don't worry, it will be back, I promise. And yeah, so without further ado, you guys, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Hope you enjoyed my review on the Mondo Space Godzilla first variant. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.